Hey guys, hey there, my name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Steins Gate episode 21. So, last episode, things got quite dark. We finally discovered who this FB person was, which turned out to be Mr. Brown. And we got to know about his motivation of, of working for CERN and also like why he chose Moika to be his puppet, kind of. But yeah, things got quite dark also with the shooting and stuff but at least Okari managed to send that D mail through Mr. Brown's phone so because of that he got to get the IBN 5100 back and they can finally do something with CERN's database directly but now we go back to the very first D mail and Kurisu brought that up quite lightly but basically Okari didn't already realized but that would mean that by undoing that D mail, we would go shift back to the timeline in which Kurisu died, even though it would mean that Mayuri would probably get saved. But yeah, now Okarin has to choose, and I'm really curious to see what he's gonna do. So without further ado, let's hop right into the episode and find out. So let's go. Alright, I'm ready, so I'm gonna start the episode. And three, two, one. Oh no. So he decided to cancel it after all. But yeah, or um, Okarin has to choose between is he gonna save Kurisu or is he gonna save Mayuri? Or he needs to come up with a whole new plan in order to save them both. But I wouldn't know how. I personally wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, he's now just thinking. She is way too precious.
<laughs> it's been a while since you brought up that organization thing. <laughs> of course. Oopa! Yeah, like Chris doesn't know about anything. Even though it's about her. Yeah, I mean like how is she gonna tell her, yeah, you're you're gonna die if we go back to the original timeline. Still one, yeah, just one more hour. But let's see what's gonna happen when it gets eight o'clock. Oh, she's so precious. <laughs> Why did the light? <laughs> mm. 
No. Yeah, he's come so far. No, don't be reckless. You still need to be able to... No. Oh, in the end, was still Mayushi who died. Yeah, he is now just, he's, he just doesn't know what he's supposed to do right now, which totally makes sense. Is he finally gonna...
finally told her. <laughs> Well, yeah, she has to take in a lot as well. There's no way that she's unaffected by that whole information she just got. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She does see what's actually happening in her dreams. Yeah, we've such we've come such a long way though from the beginning of this series. It's so weird to see her in a school uniform. We always see her in that blue dress and with her hat. But it's really weird to see her in a school uniform.
<laughs> the illusion conductor. Yeah, I kind of know that feeling like wanting to go back to those happy times, you know? Just seeing them interact in such a silly way, it was just so entertaining. But like, because of all this thing with CERN and trying to bring the original timeline back, We haven't just seen much of these silly interactions anymore. We saw one in the last episode. <laughs> I also want to have a oopa. Wow, what's with this music? Okay, why did Christo go back to that building? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's still this mystery though. We haven't paid like much attention to it because um, after Okarin sent his first email, Christo was back alive. But so we haven't actually paid much attention to the whole situation before the demo got sent. And I think we're gonna dive more deeply into that in the next episode. Because we have no idea who Kurisu got stabbed by, you know. We only know that she was found dead, but we don't know how that happened. So yeah. Alright, so that was the 21st episode of Steins Gate and yeah, we're now trying to figure out how they can save both Kurisu and Mayuri. I think like in the first half of the episode, Okarin actually tried to give up on saving Mayuri. No, he didn't really give up, but he tried in a more radical way to change the timeline, so he actually jumped in front of the car himself, but in the end he still got saved by Maori, which also led to her death. So in the end it would still lead to the same result. But yeah, so when he once again did the time leap, he explained the whole situation to Kurisu, 
So now she knows the truth about what would happen if they undo that very first email. And then we got once again a focus on the relationship between Mayuri and Okarin, you know, how their relationship used to be when they were a bit younger, when it still was just the two of them in the lab. You know, that was just really sweet, you know. But she was just talking about her own feelings. And yeah, that was just really sweet. And I think that also brought Okarin back to his senses, or at least like cheered him up a little bit. He was just really down in the beginning of the episode because he just didn't know what he was supposed to do. He tr already tried everything. He already had like a lot of friends having to sacrifice something. And he was so close in saving Maishi. But that would mean the death of Kurisu as a sacrifice. So he was just at his wits end and he just didn't know what to do. And I think just hearing Mayuri talk about her feelings, I think that just calmed him down a little bit and now he still hasn't lost all hope I think. But yeah we saw in the end of the episode that Kurisu went back to that building where she also was found in the very first episode and where the time machine crashed into and I don't know what she's gonna do there what she's planning to do but yeah like I also just said we're kind of shifting back towards that moment or like what happened in the first episode because you know, like, we know nothing about what happened before Okarin found Kurisu dead, you know. But yeah, I'm really curious to find out more about that. And yeah, I guess we'll see that in the next episode. There are just a few more episodes left of this original series. Of course, there's also Steins Gate Zero, which I will be reacting to right after this one. But yeah, this storyline is almost over, I think. And yeah, it's... It's crazy that we're nearing the end of this already. But yes, so that was my reaction to this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're curious to see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.